Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Morning Homework Session and uh, Pre-Market Analysis and Trade Plan Setup. Uh, my name is Doug McKay. I am the founder and uh, head moderator for Quantum Leap. Uh, Quantum Leap has been around for over four years now. We are a self-organized learning uh, environment. We have a private Skype room. Uh, we come together each day, talk about the market, talk about trading in our Skype room, and then each morning we come together in a live broadcast here, and then I do my market analysis and set up our trade plan for the day with our targets. If you're interested in finding out more about uh, Quantum Leap or about Stealth Analytics, please feel free to send me an email at d.mckay at stealthtrader.com. Actually, I didn't mean to move that. Um, just send me an email, or if you uh, contact me on Skype, my Skype is Doug underscore McKay, that's M-C-K-A-Y, and I'm the one from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. All right, so we're going to get going. Uh, each morning we go through a routine to prepare ourselves for trading. Uh, we do start with the macro to the micro. So if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, you might want to skip ahead a little bit. But uh, we do a view of where the key numbers are, where the, we are within the trend in different time frames. And we do this to make sure that we have a you know, the big picture in mind at all times. And then we get into some more in-depth chart analysis. Uh, I've got to get the legals out of the way, so let's do that. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand their knowledge of the business of trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You and only you are responsible for the trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or any instrument involves risk or loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than the initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please do your own due diligence and trade your own trade plan. Okay, so let's take a quick look uh, at what we had uh, set up for yesterday and uh, and what happened. Let me just bring up my uh, IRT and bring up the chart. So yesterday we had Fed FOMC uh, minutes coming out. And we were open outside of auction, outside of range, outside of value. And we were looking for a rotation back down to test the, uh, the value area high, possibly come down and close out the, uh, the naked VPOC and the naked close. Uh, we missed the naked close just barely by uh, a couple ticks, came down, found buyers here, rotated back up outside of range. And then they basically uh, just fought that. Uh, the top of the range from the prior day had a bit, a bit of a move up, came up into our secondary uh, target above, uh, rotated back off that, came back down, tested the IB from the upside, and then of course we had the uh, the FOMC minutes. Yellen is uh, is towing the line, still dovish, and they rotated it up, hit our first uh, main target above, which was the naked VPOC at 1859 and a quarter, then rotated up. We were looking for if we got above the 61 uh, and a quarter, 61.50 area, that we'd likely go up and test that 64.50 microcomposite VPOC, and that's exactly what we did. We went up and hit our uh, our main target and our uh, our microcomposite VPOC. It shifted slightly. It's no longer 64.50. It's now 65, and then we stole the uh, the VPOC and value into the close overnight. We have had a perfect 10-point range. We've traded in around that, uh, you know, that 64, 50, 65 area, and uh, high overnight is 67.50, low is 57.50. So let's go take a look at the numbers and get uh, that out of the way. Um, we're back into a a, uh, a bullish year again. Our year open 1837.75. We are trading above that right now. Our month open is 1864.50. We're right there, uh, you know, battling around that area. We have the big number above us, which is this 1892.50, which is the all-time high and the month high. Um, and then we have the previous month high at 1887.50, which was our all-time high. And then the previous month open at 1846. Nothing really bigger than that in terms of the macro numbers. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Uh, we opened yesterday's Globex at 
1845, had a high of 51 and a quarter and a low of 4375, and then we opened just outside of range in 1875. Had an open auction out of range. We broke the IB to the upside only, so we had a normal variation day. Thought we were going to get the, the neutral and possibly a neutral extreme, but we did, we did not break that IB low. I came down, tested it for the second time, and then bounced off of it. Our opening swing, 1851.75 to 1849.50 for a two and a quarter point opening swing. Our initial balance high, 51.75, initial balance low, 45 and a quarter for six and a half. So pretty normal numbers all the way around. Uh, you can see that uh, you know, after a few uh, down, uh, down days, we're coming back up and uh, you know, we're getting positive. Uh, green is positive, uh, red is negative. Our 1230 number, 52.75, our high 66.50, our low 45 and a quarter, and we stole the deep into the close at 65 and a quarter, which is right there at our micro composite. So we're right back into balance again. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a, a pretty choppy day, just going to have to be careful out there. I'm expecting rotation. Our value area uh, high was 66 and a quarter, just one tick below the, uh, the high of the day. Of course, that was into the close, and uh, the heavy sellers stepped in uh, near the close to shift the VPOC up. And then our value area low. At 50, so a very big uh, value area again, and then we uh, broke the IB to the high side on a make and break, and our volume was uh, you know a little bit less than what we've been seeing. Uh, we're starting to get back into uh, normal volume. Going over to the daily report, our full session high so far 67.50, full session low 57.50 gives us our. 20-day ATR targets at 1878.75 and 18.46 and a quarter. Uh, so keep those numbers, write those numbers down, and see if we get uh, we stay in ATR range or whether or not we get ext uh, extension out. Of course, we had the unemployment claims, which were better, and the import prices, which were uh, which were better. So we have a nice little pop on the market. We've got natural gas at 9.30, we've got the 30-year bond auction at uh, noon, and then we have uh, federal budget balance at 1. These are all central numbers. Uh, all numbers in here will be central time. So let's go take a look at the macro to the micro. I always like to know where we are within the overall context. You can see that the monthly is still very strong. Uh, the, the two moving averages you'll see on all my charts are the 9 EMA and the 20 SMA. Those are the ones I prefer. doesn't mean that they're the only ones that you can use, but I like them. And you can see we've got good slope, good separation. Price is, uh, is paralleling the 9 very nicely, and we've gone up and made a new all-time high, and we're coming back to test the uh, the uh, close of the prior month and right into that balance in around that 64-65 area. Going over to the weekly, same thing. You've got uh, slope, you've got separation. We had uh, you know that move down uh, in the morning and then uh, I'm sorry earlier this week and then uh, a bounce right back up and we're above the nine and the twenty and we do have slope and separation. So we've got you know strength on the trend on the weekly as well. On the daily. A little bit uh, different story. We are chopping around in this balance area, and we've got no uh, trend on the daily right now. Came down, you know, had that big uh, move down, uh, you know, at the end of uh, last week. Created this technical gap, came up close to tech gap, and we're now, you know, trading above the nine and the twenty, and we have come down and tested it uh, overnight. So, uh, going over to the geometric chart. There's an interesting energy point up here, which is just slightly outside of our 20-day uh, our, uh, ATR range target for the day, and it's at 80, 83, 84 area. So just keep that in mind. We're sitting right now trying to hold outside of the longer term downward sloping fork, and a move up to this would test the shorter term downward sloping fork and the center line of the longer term upward sloping fork. So it's kind of an interesting uh, energy point. If we break below and get back inside of the uh, pro, uh, the downward sloping fork, the longer term one, um, you know, you might want to you know keep an eye on this area down here, coming back down and uh, and testing uh, the center line again in around that 32 area. 
uh, which is in that triple distribution zone. I'm not anticipating that. Uh, I'm expecting a rotational day with a little bit of an upward uh, uh, bias to the upside. So let's take a look at the composite and see where we are in the uh, balance zone. You can see that our microcomposite VPOC, my microcomposite VPOC is run, running all the way back to February 21st through uh, to uh, yesterday. We came up and we made that new high. We tried to hold value up here in around that 1881.50. We couldn't. We came all the way back down to where this all started in around that 34 uh, and a quarter, uh, 34.50 area. You know, pushed a little bit through. Actually, got down to almost this 29.50. Uh, I think it was the low was 30. Was it 30.75? Buyer stepped in, rotated us right back up. And now we're back up inside of this uh, this uh, balance area. So the balance area that we're in, the value area high is just above us, just uh, basically one tick off of uh, yesterday's um, high at 67 and a quarter. It is yesterday's uh, our value area high yesterday was 66 and a quarter. So keep an eye on the 60 uh, 60. Sorry, is it? Sorry, 67 and a quarter is the value area high for this uh, larger microcomposite, and then the value area low is all the way down here at uh, this 37 area. But I would be concentrating a little bit closer today. Um, you know, everything's going to center around the 65 with the other side of balance and the uh, CLVN above us at uh, 68.50, and then the uh, lower side of balance and around there's that 55 and a quarter again. So I would be uh, using those two areas uh, to trade back towards the 65 right now. If we get above 68.50, then you've got 69.75, that uh, 70.75, see how these numbers keep playing out over and over again, and then 72.75 with the other side of balance being up here at uh, 76. 75. And if we get above 76.75, I think we will see a strong move up into this 81.50 again. And they'll come back up to see if they can find sellers up here uh, where they're trying to hold value after making that uh, new high. Below, uh, look for a test down to, uh, to 58.75. That's the most dominant price below us right now. And then a push through to the other side of balance down at that 55 and a quarter CLVN. If we get below there, look for a move down to test the value area high and this former microcomposite. See this little microcomposite VPOC right here uh, in around that 50, uh, 50 area, 50.75. Uh, if we break below 50, uh, 55, that would be the target I'd be looking for to come down and test is that 50, 50 area with the 46.75 being uh, the CLVN, and you know, again, there's a key number we've been watching and using as a, a as a definitive line in the sand. And below that, then I think we're rotating back down to the 41, 38, and then 34, uh, uh, 50 area again. And then we've got this, you know, still have not properly auctioned this uh, triple distribution that is between 35 and a quarter, 29.50, and 25 and a quarter. So let's go and move our numbers over from our overnight chart and start setting up our uh, trade levels. We're currently trading right now at uh, 63.75. Uh, so we're going to be inside of value and inside of range uh, if we open up around here. But more importantly, we're going to be right in this uh, 65 uh, microcomposite balance area. So our overnight high is 67.50, one point above the range high from yesterday. And then the overnight low is 1857.50. And our current VPOC uh, for overnight, and I don't think it's going to shift, is going to be 63. All right, so a key, couple key uh, areas here. We really had a, a normal variation that kind of extended out to be a bit of a, uh, a trend in the afternoon. We just, uh, you know, we just made that move off of the FOMC. So we're going to be opening up. You've got this, uh, this LVN right here at 64, and just below it, you've got that 63 VPOC and an HVN from you know, the first move up uh, and where 
the buyers and sellers uh, found uh, an area to do business. So, you know, below the 64 and a quarter, I'd be looking for a move down to to 62 and a quarter. Now, here's the problem: is I'm expecting chop in this area. So, if you try to take a short off of 64. You you know you're right into that balance right in around let me get rid of this you're right in around the 65 and it's going to be extremely choppy to me I I just say this is you know this is just a no a no play zone in around here I think you really have to break out of the 68 area get outside of value uh, you know of the micro composite VPOC, outside of value of the uh, of the value range from yesterday and get outside of range. So the first trade for me that I would feel uh, you know safe taking would be a break outside of the ra uh, the value area and the range. So I would use the 60, uh, 66 and a quarter, 6550 area as a breakout trade to go take out the overnight high and come up and test the 6850 area, and that would be the first target that uh, I would have. Uh, which is going to be that CLVN and the test of the other side of balance that we're uh, trading around. And, you know, I would think that you're probably going to see uh, some responsive buyers or sellers stepping in there, I should say, and try to keep us and, and rotate us back inside of range. But if we do break above that uh, 6850, then I'm looking for, you know, the first uh, uh, tar main target above. You've got 6975, but it's really the 72. Uh, area that 70 remember it was 70 at one point in time it was 71 then it was 70 75 and we've got 72 so it's really I'm going to use 71 and a quarter as uh, as uh, my my main target above 68 uh, 50 just going to front run that a little bit. I think we pushed through and tried to, you know, break out through that 70, uh, 75. We've been through it a few times, so it's really 71 and a quarter above. And then above that, the other side of balance is at 76, so that would be a secondary trade area for me up here, 76, 75. And then above that, like I said earlier, the uh, uh, main target is that 81.50. With our uh, ATR target at 80, I'm sorry, our ATR target is smaller, it's 78, uh, 78, 75. And then above that, you've got the, you know, the 92 and a quarter. And I think that uh, you know you're not going to get much responsive selling up here until we get into this uh, 92 and a quarter area, and this would be my extended target to the upside. Uh, why didn't that work? Okay, and then if we are if we do come back down and we reject this uh, this area at 68.50, and let me just I'm going to change this from target. It's still a target, but I'm expecting responsive sellers there. So I'm going to put it. And those that are have been in here understand that trade areas are targets, but they're also areas where they all initial uh, initialize a trade as well. But if we rotate back in, your first main target has to be right here at the 62 uh, and a quarter area. And then the 55, and you know, you've got your, your overnight low. There's this area here that still has to be repaired on the, uh, the profile from yesterday, and your overnight low is 57.50. So 57.50 is going to be the main target below 62 and a quarter with the other side of balance and a key line in the sand, which is going to be that 55 and a quarter, which is basically right there, just below the midpoint. And then if we do get, uh, and we, you know, we get some weakness coming in, I'm not anticipating uh, some heavy weakness here. I'm really expecting rotation uh, and a, a, a 
fairly tight range today with a little bit of an upside bias. But if we do see weakness coming in and you get below 55 and a quarter, sell your hearts out into that 51, uh, uh, 75, but it's really 50-50 that I'm looking at. So the, there'll be two targets. There'll be 51.75, which was the IB low, but it's really the 50-50, because that's going to be uh, you know, that uh, value area low from yesterday and the, you know, the key CHVN below us uh, uh, at 50-50. Uh, and that's going to be uh, you know, just in front of that uh, you know, value area low, and I mean, we get back inside of value, we stay in value, you know, that's a 16 point value area 80% rule. Um, so, but, you know, again, this area right here between this, uh, this 6650 and even 6850 down to this 55 and a quarter, I think we're going to see a lot of chop uh, in here. So, just know where you're wrong quickly and uh, and don't try to sit, you know, sit through, uh, you know, some heavy rotations because I think we could see some, you know, fairly large rotations uh, today. Below, you know, we got to look at the uh, possibility of a big down move just in case as a secondary hypothesis. So below that 50-50, you know, of course, the big number is the 46. Uh, 46.75 CLVN, but it's really going to be all or in around this uh, 45 again, just like it was yesterday. We had those three targets. We missed them, uh, the uh, the naked close. That was the overnight VPOC that was there, and it was the uh, the range low, all in that 45 area. So that's going to be uh, the secondary area that I'd be looking for them to have responsive buyers stepping in, and then below that uh, that 46. Everything is you know uh, moves down to the first the forty one. It's really forty one seventy five, and then this uh, where they uh, found buyers and uh, stepped in here in around this thirty eight fifty. Come on. This button just doesn't want to be working for me anymore. Don't want to edit button. There we go. And then 34.50 again. It's actually now 35 and a quarter. And then below that, just remember we have this triple distribution area, um, but I don't think we're going to get down there. Uh, today, um, so you know, extended targets. Just keep in mind, you know, 29.50 and 29 and a quarter. All right, so that's what I'm looking at in terms of uh, levels right now. We're still trading in this 63.64 uh, area. Let's take a quick look at uh, what the Keltner looks like. So currently right now our center line is at 62, right above that main target below us at 62 and a quarter. Um, a move up to test the upper Keltner, where is it? Our main target above at 68.50. And if we get below, uh, you know, you can see the, the test of the lower line will bring us down to 55 and a quarter. See how those numbers play out against the other? This is why I like watching. Uh, the Keltner channel uh, and the Renko. It takes a little bit of noise out, gives me a little bit of uh, uh, of guidance against the levels that I've already predetermined, and then of course we you know always look for those Renko walk the line setups. Let's take a quick look at gold. Sorry, just gotta get my. Uh, um, We've got a nice move up on uh, on gold overnight. All right. So uh, anybody that's been around for any length of time knows that I'm watching this larger. We had the uh, descending broadening wedge 
which is a bottoming pattern. It's a major bottoming pattern. And then we created this uh, beautiful uh, uh, cup and handle setup that did come down and validate. And we are now uh, coming up and trading above the 9 and the 20 on the daily. And, uh, you, know, you know, this now can set up for a much bigger move. I mean, the big, you know, the big measured move will happen once we break that 1400 right rim uh, with the measured move all the way up into 1600. We can still chop around in this area right now, uh, but we have made a move up. Our overnight high so far was uh, up at uh, 2490. And if we look at that on the composite, and this would be another number that we'll all recognize. Is that uh, 24 area, uh, 2450 was the value area high uh, of the uh, microcomposite back here and right there at that CHDN at uh, 23.60. So we're currently trading 13.18. I think the uh, the key area right now is a break back above this uh, this 21. 2080 is actually the number. You can see it's the uh, the microcomposite VPOC uh, from this uh, uh, balance area. It's a, a microcomposite LVN right here uh, from this area. And I think if we break above that, I think we make a move. You know, we've got the you know 2360. The other side of balance is 29, but the big number above is between that 32 to 33 uh, area, and then you know possibly a push to uh, to you know test the value area high from this area that we held balance up around that 1345 with uh, 5220 uh, being a key level. If we break above that 52.20, then I think we get a strong move up into those old numbers we were looking at, which was that 64. It's shifted now to 65.80, the 77, and then the 87. But if we can't give it above this uh, this 20.80, this 21, then I'd be looking for rotation back into that 13.15 and 13.11. Remember, we are talking about uh, Sri and I in the uh, in the uh, room the other day that we were looking at resistance in around that uh, 1311, 1316. We, this was the day we were talking about it right here. We actually went up and uh, and hit the high at 1315.50 and rotated back off of that. I think th that's going to be our support level here. Below 1311, then I'd be looking for a, a retest down to that 1306 area and then 130160, and if we get below that, everything shifts back down into that 1290 to 1292 area. And then I think, I think if we get back into the 1200s again, we're going to see some more weakness. And again, we can come all the way down to that 1261, 1258 level, okay, down here into you know where we started this run at, and that still does not invalidate the uh, the cup and handle. So you know. It's you know I'm still watching the longer term pattern because if we get above 1400, I want to be long and holding strong into that 1600 uh, level. So it'll be a a, la a larger swing trade uh, for me that I've started developing. Um, that's all I've got right now. Howard, do you have anything you want to go over this morning? Uh, <clears throat> no, I, I don't have anything this morning. Okay, so that is going to conclude our morning pre-market homework session and trade plan set up for Thursday, April the 10th, 2014. Uh, I will post the charts in the appropriate rooms. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.